Hey, all right, lads. So welcome to our first FIFA 17 squad builder. Fortunately, it is a pre-release squad builder, so there's no gameplay, unfortunately, for you. But it is a 2K budget, non rare silver Colombian squad with everyone also coming for the Colombian league as well. So great chemistry, obviously. So now this squad is for the people who are starting with nothing. You're not spending FIFA points at the start or you can't afford to. Nice little cheap team to start off with. Please leave a like if you do enjoy it. It really will help me out a lot. And please subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. Loads of squad builders and reviews to come as well. So let's go. Starting in there, we have Jose Cuadrado. He's 5'11 tall. He's got medium, medium work rates, three star weak foot, and one star skill. Now his standout card stats are his 75 diving, 74 reflexes, and 74 positioning. Into our defense now, at left back, we have Lewis Tipton. He's 5 foot 10 tall, left footed, he's got medium, medium work rates, 3 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Now we're going to be having a look at all the in games now, so you can always pause it for a close look at any of these uh, in games on all the players. So his standouts are his 85 stamina, 84 sprint speed, 83 acceleration, 74 uh, strength and 71 aggression. Next up is our first centre back, we have Jesus Murillo, he's 5 foot 8 tall, right footed, he's got a low medium work rate, a 3 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Having a look at his in games, his standout is 85 stamina, 85 acceleration, 84 sprint speed, 76 agility and 74 acceleration. Some really, really nice uh, pace on that uh, centre back there. Now his centre back partner, we do have his teammate, we have Daniel Valencia, he's 5 foot 11 tall, medium high work rate, 2 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Having a look at his in games, his standouts are 91 stamina, 85 jumping, 76 sprint speed, 73 heading and 71 strength. And rounding up the defence at right back, we do have Christian Arietta. He's 5 foot 9 tall, right footed, he's got high medium work rates, a 3 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Having a look at his in games, his standout to his 91 stamina, 86 acceleration, 85 sprint speed, 83 jumping and 80 balance. Now that back four, you got to say, it is nice and pacey, especially when you're considering the whole thing only costs 600 coins for all four, which is as cheap as it gets in Ultimate Team. Now into the midfield now with our CDM, we have Didier Moreno, he's 5 foot 10 tall, right footed, he's got medium high work rate, 2 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Looking at his in games, his standout to his 90 stamina, 80 strength, 75 interceptions, 72 short pass and 71 aggression. Now on the left, at left mid, we have Andre Ibarguen. He's five foot six tall, right foot. He's got high medium work rates, three star weak foot, and four star skills. Looking at his in games, his standout is ninety one acceleration, ninety one agility, ninety sprint speed, eighty seven balance, and eighty jumping. On the opposite wing, at right mid, we do have Freddy Zalazar. He's five foot eight tall, right foot. He's got medium low work rates, three star weak foot, and three star skills. Having a look at his in games, he stands out to his 87 acceleration, 86 sprint speed, 85 stamina, 84 agility, and 68 crossing. And round north midfield at Cam, we have Daniel Botrago. He's five foot ten tall, left foot. He's got medium high work rates, two star weak foot, and three star skills. Having a look at his in games, he stand out to his seventy six acceleration, seventy five vision, seventy four dribbling, seventy four agility, and seventy four long shots. Now moving up into the forwards now, at left striker we have Jose Valencia, he's 6 foot tall, right foot, he's got high medium work rates, 4 star weak foot and 3 star skills. Having a look at his in games, his standout is 88 sprint speed, 81 agility, 77 strength, 77 acceleration and 72 jumping. And his strike partner on the right is Jesse Mena. He's five foot six tall, left foot. He's got high medium work rates, two star weak foot, and three star skills. Looking at his in games, he stands out to his 92 sprint speed, 92 acceleration, 92 jumping, 89 balance, and 79 agility. So cracking pace and jumping there. So that rounds off the look at the team. Unfortunately, no gameplay as we said, as this was pre released. Now the total cost for this team was only 1,800 coins, so it's ideal for a starter team. If you don't like what you're getting, you're welcome pack, so you can just get sell it or quick sell it even, and you're still going to have enough money for this team. If you don't want it as a starter team, do what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be keeping it as an early fitness team, lots of pace all over the pitch and some really nice cards for some non rares I've noticed there's a hell of a lot of non rares this year that probably should be rares a lot of 90 pace non rares which is strange this year now obviously if you're spending money on points you're going to be going for something more expensive something gold but as I said I'm keeping this as my first fitness team hopefully you might want to try it out as well 
So thanks a lot for watching lads, I really do appreciate it. Please leave a like on the video if you did. And uh, please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Loads of uh, in-depth squad builders, obviously we'll be doing them like this. Plus we'll have uh, all the in-game stats, all the... Uh, performance stats of the players we'll be showing you clips of every single player as well so please stay tuned for that thanks a lot for watching lads i really do appreciate it cheers lads see you later